welcome to episode seven here at GBG on the GBG Porsche backdate that we're doing. Um, you've all been following it, so you're kind of up to speed where we were. Got the throttle bodies from a company called AT Power, so we've been working with those guys. And we're the first company in the UK to fit the throttle bodies on a 911 SC. So the guys were doing a lot of R&D on the kit to get to where it is now, so we're the first people to receive it and fit it to, the, to this 911 SE. It's a very, very comprehensive kit, a lot of good parts in there. Took the team and myself around 80 hours so far to fit it to where we wanted to fit it. Um, we didn't just bolt it in, we wanted to make sure everything looked perfect in the engine bay. It's not quite finished yet, but it's, it's looking really, really good. <laughs> So we wanted to keep everything as neat and tidy as possible. It's the way we like to do things. So we've color coded a couple of bits and pieces, which is really, really nice. Um, makes the trumpets look awesome. The quality of the, the product from these guys is, is superb. You know, everything from the pressure regulator, the fuel regulator, all the sensors, the TPS, the crank pickup. Very, very happy. Very happy with the insulation of it. There was a few bits we, we changed and we're gonna report back to AT on those. Um, but all in all, very, very happy. Um, we'll go probably in more detail in it, maybe uh, later on, because if I talked about it now, we'd be here for two or three hours. So while we're here, we might as well just do a quick whip round of the car and just give you an update exactly where we are as well, because um, obviously we have moved, moved things forward. So. so all the suspension's in, wheels are now on, it's now rolling. So the wheels are on, we've got brakes, we've got gears, We've got accelerator, so now we're moving under its own power. So yeah, very, very happy. The wheels are on, looking great. We haven't set it yet. We haven't set the ride height. We haven't set the uh, the geo that will come later on. Um, we're very close for it to going off to the trimmers at this point as well. So let's have a quick look round. Doors are in, all the glass is in. Not completely finished yet. The rear quarters aren't in because we're waiting for the trimmers to do what they need to do before they go in. But yeah, looking really good. Very, very happy with it. Coming to the front, guys. Obviously front wheels are on too, that's why it rolls. Again, happy, they're on, all the brakes are in. In the front compartment, we're happy. Obviously the wiring loom is, is in. Um, we're 90% happy with it. We've still got a lot of tidying and some bit more checking to do once we fully start testing things, but very, very happy. Fuel cell in, battery in. Um, airbox is in. We've, we've modified the airbox to a custom airbox. I'm not gonna go into too much detail with that again because I'll be here for hours. I'll go into a bit more detail if you guys would like me to or just in general, I wanna talk about it. <laughs> Dashing, got the lower dashing, clocks are in, 90% happy with everything. We're still not fully finished yet. We've still got the stereo to go and to cut speakers and stuff, but all in all, very happy, very clean, very tidy. Um, pedal assembly's in. So yeah, we've got gears, we've got gear stick. Handbrake's not in yet, we've still got a bit, bit to do on that, but yeah, looking really good. And then I suppose what you all want to know is um, start it up, listen to it. Um, that's going to be the best bit, isn't it, you know? So um, if you're ready and Pete's ready, we'll, we'll fire it up. in the hole. That's it so far. Thanks for watching. Peace.